Hey y'all, we're uh, oh back for more blower action here. Uh, this is the blower we're gonna go ahead and put on that ranchero. Uh, running into some little problems here, but I don't think it's anything major we can't deal with. This is I, I forgot about these. This is the reduction style GM671 gear train. This gear here has a bearing that runs on a shaft. And it's, if you notice, this gear is slightly bigger. And here's there's your drive shaft. So it's it's actually uh, it's it's under underdriven slightly. And then there's your two timing gears. So that's what's going on there. And I'm assuming this is what they call the big bore blower. Uh, there's a small bore and a big blow, bore. Um, so we're going to have to deal with that first, and I, I'm pretty sure I got that figured out, because see, here's the issue. We're going to need this front cover, just like on our other car here. We use the Detroit that front cover to bolt that drive snout on. And see, here's the problem. It hits right there. You know, we've got those that, that extra gear train hanging out there. Nothing like Detroit grease, man. That stuff, that's the gift that keeps on giving. It's a shame this Ranchero didn't have a Detroit in it. It'd have, it wouldn't have rusted out as bad. <laughs> Anyhow, here's what I'm going to do. This was an extra bearing plate that I had left over from the other project what I got to do is cut the center out all, all this center part we'll just saw that out with a scroll saw and what that does is gets me a spacer plate for this guy so I go to that gets me the right distance to clear that gear train it, it'll look a little different I'm gonna go ahead and do it just for the heck of it you know, I have to work on the dowel pins I'll have to shorten the dowel pin and uh, drive them out to do that yeah I pulled that the other day and I thought damn that's got that reduction style I ain't gonna be able to use it but I think we can I don't think we can uh, what else do I got to do? It's uh, this has the ring style seals in it. Uh, they're basically like a piston ring. There's your oil seals. It's like a gapless piston ring. And what we're gonna do? This is the other style of seal they use, you know, just a regular rubber lip seal. We're gonna convert it over to these. These these press on, I'll pull them off and then that seal will go ahead and work. I gotta do that, yeah. Not a big deal. Not too big a deal. And on the conversion, I wish I'd have made videos when I'd done my Galaxy here two years ago. This all, all this whole assembly gets pulled out and you go end for end with it. You're, you're going to want your drive gears up here now. And the reason for that is this case is not symmetrical the way the bolts are. You can't really see it now. But like see where my, there's my hook lips where it hangs on that Detroit 671 engine. Uh, these are on top. We'll see they're on this side here. And here's my Ford. You see where they're where they're at there I just let you can leave them on there so you got to go in for in with your rotor and drive assembly to make that work that's not a big deal either and the other thing we're gonna do we're gonna trim trim the budget on this project that's always good I am going to go with the I'm gonna keep the original bearing plate on the back we're on 
the Galaxy, I went ahead and bought the bearing plate. Got that from DPI. It wasn't that expensive. It was like 138 bucks, but man, uh, they, they made an excellent product. That thing fit right in there, perfect. But uh, I think I'm just go on this round and just kind of cut our budget and we'll go with the bearing plate on the back. Now the back bearings, they just get packed with grease. You know, you'll have your seal in there. And then what, what guys would do back in the 60s and 70s, you could cut a piece of aluminum and it don't have to be real thick. A, I don't know, 3 16 something like that. And then you just match your holes up, drill your plate, bolt it on, you have to drill these two, bolt it on there and you're done. You could even do it with a piece of steel and paint it, whatever. But a lot of guys would do that. I look in some old hot rod magazines and you can see them. But that's the stage we're at now, anyhow. That's what it looks like in the beginning. So I think we got that that deal figured out, anyhow. Well, we'll catch you later. I'll I'm gonna power wash this mess up and see what we got. See you folks.